Innovate was launched in 2003, in July 2003, and we launched that from Weirdale. We very quickly became uh, quite a high-profile brand in the specialist off-road running sector and extreme sports sector. When we originally launched the brand, it was launched as a footwear brand. And 18 months ago, we launched a range of lightweight running and outdoor packs. Um, so those are backpacks and, um, and accessory products. We now uh, sell the brand in over 22 countries. So we're looking at over 500 retail stores worldwide. We've got a high profile considering we're quite a small company and that we haven't been around that long. When we launched the brand, we were based right, right in, in a very rural area. Um, and the disadvantages there were things like there was no broadband access and there wasn't a lot of premises available. So as the brand grew, we had to move further away from the heart of the countryside effectively. We're still fairly rural, but not as rural as we were. We have a desire to go back into, into the, the heart of the countryside because we're an off-road running brand and we feel that that's the best environment for us to operate from. The reasons for this are a number and uh, the, the ma main things are that we're in a nice creative environment, we've got easy access to test our product, um, and we also feel that it, it's the right sort of uh, reflection of the type of brand that we are, that we're based in a rural location. There definitely are a number of barriers when you start uh, trying to base a, a business in a rural location and those are, you know, anything from the logistics of getting products in and out, um, the infrastructure that's there, the accommodation with regards to offices and warehouses. And then there's also the challenges that you m may not be able to find the skill set that you need based in a rural location. But we believe that there's a lot of um, talent in these rural areas, particularly young talent, that don't have the opportunities and they're having to migrate away from these rural locations so that they can get jobs. We've been very good at trying to recruit local talent, particularly youngsters. So we've got a number of graduates within the, within the company. It's all about getting that young talent, getting them on board. They, they want to do something and then unlocking that talent and showing them and, and, and you know, giving them the tools and the guidance so that they can develop within the company. As a small team, we, are man we have managed to create this brand that's quite high profile in its sector. We're holding our own out there and we're carving a little niche in the marketplace and uh, the profile's growing and if we can keep working on that and developing the team, um, then the brand's got lots of opportunities. So that's probably what I'm, I'm, I'm most proud of. Advice I would give to someone that's looking to set up in a rural location is, where, where do they see the business being sort of mid to long term? And if that type of business can be accommodated in a rural location, then I would definitely go for it. I think the advantages definitely outweigh the disadvantages. Working your way through those short term advantages, I believe that there'll be more support through regional um, councils and, and local councils on how they promote and develop and work with businesses in the rural environment because they've seen the importance of this. If you can create the right working environment in a good rural location, then you've got quite a good attractive business proposition that you can attract the right talent of staff into. And, you know, my personal choices were, because I lived in the country, I, I really wanted to do something there. I have children, so I see the need for creating jobs for this younger generation that are coming through.